Hey everybody, what is going on? So, oh my gosh, I'm throwing varnish around and we all know we don't want to be throwing varnish around right now. That's like gold. Um, well, Genesis heat set varnish seems to be that they're just never going to restock. I don't know. Hopefully they're going to restock soon. So I am getting ready to start a kit. I just got a kit in the mail. It's from Head. Um, she got two kits, two of the same kits. She got those mystery boxes from Trueborn and she ended up with two of the same kits. And so I'm gonna send her a surprise kit in exchange for one of her double kits because she didn't need doubles. And I was excited to take on one of the kits because I was like, hey, I could use that kit. I only made that kit once. It's been a long time. So I'll take it off your hands and I'll send you your blank kit, uh, mystery kit. So I already know which one I'm gonna send her. She doesn't know, but I know. But yeah, all right, so I'm mixing my varnish. This is actually matte varnish, thinning medium, and lots of thinner. I want my varnish to be a thinner consistency so I'm adding more thinner in there and we're gonna start our base layer on OC so it's OC by Priscilla Lopez I believe is the sculptor name on there let me show you guys the kit yeah here it is so cute look at that face who loves this baby? He's a sweet kit. There is a limited edition kit. There's 2,000 of them. I think I have like 843. So he's a newborn size baby, but on the bigger size of newborn size. So kind of like, um, you know, well, maybe not. Yeah, he's a, he's a bigger newborn size baby. So I think he can wear some three month size clothing. I'm pretty sure he can, but look at how sweet he is. Look at his lips. I love that little pouty lip so cute okay now his hands let's open him up i haven't taken him out of the bag fully but here's one hand really cute little open hand i love this because he can like hold your finger it's just so realistic i love that it's beautiful and then a closed hand perfect look at that look at those long fingers Ooh, so nice and then, and he is full limbs. So he's full limbs. He's vinyl. All Reborns are vinyl. There is no such thing as silicone vinyl. So if anybody has that question, like I want a silicone vinyl, there's no such thing. Those two materials cannot, uh, if you mix them together, they will not do what they're supposed to do. The vinyl will not turn into solid vinyl and the silicone will not turn into solid silicone, meaning they won't cure as they're supposed to. So the two uh, materials can't bind together to make a silicone vinyl doll kit, if that makes any sense. Now, um, I know that that's quite the question because with those kits that are sold from other, like China, and they're on this, you know, like eBay and stuff, and a lot of people call them stolen kits and such like that, they will often refer to their kits as um, silicone vinyl. And that's your key to as, huh, this is not a so legit kit because they're calling it silicone vinyl. That is not such a thing. So you can avoid buying with them. And um, that's just a radar to let you know that it's that's not a legit kit for you to be purchasing. So to like steer away because silicone and vinyl cannot mix together. So, there it is. He's really cute. Look at those toes. They're separated. Oh my gosh, I love that. Look at they move so real. That is cute. And then the other ones are not separated. So sweet. So my first, first thing I do with my dolls is my varnish layer. And I paint it on. You guys saw me thinning down my mix, so hopefully it's the consistency I want. And I could probably add some more thinner to it. I had to make a new batch of my um, varnish layer, so always on the first time around, it's just like experimental till I, you know, do a couple limbs and then I dial in what I want. But I will do this doll in this same varnish uh, consistency. The next doll, I'm gonna thin up the matting, the varnish, 
um, cause I want it just a little thinner. And then I take an e.l.f. foundation brush and I just pounce all the varnish so it's nice and smooth. Looks like it gives like a natural skin texture to the doll when using the brush. I love that effect that the brush does. Um, it's just like not a soft surface, like, you know, like sleek, like glass. So <laughs> Jackie's phone always talks to me. Is, is it perfect? <laughs> she just she always is talking to me. I'll never be lonely with Jackie's phone around. <laughs> so let me see. Try to show you guys. Can you see that texture a little bit there? It's hard to really show you all, but I think you can kind of see it there. I think you can. All right. So we're gonna move on to the lake. So it's Friday. Some countries, because they are advanced into the future. <clears throat> are um already on Saturday. But what are you guys up to today? Um I'm just I well I'm starting this kit. I had not planned to start a kit right now cuz uh to be honest, I was actually out of my kits. I'm waiting for my kits to arrive. I have 3 coming from MacPherson's. So I wasn't going to be starting any dolls. Not that I needed to because I, I have three babies available on the website. I'm so happy to have those babies available on the website. I also have two basic art dolls available on the website. So there's a total of five reborn babies available on the website. So I'm really happy to have those up there. So that means I get to like just kind of pull back on my workflow and focus more on my customs. So once I get this all done... I will put the baby in the new wave oven. I use a new wave oven next to a window that is open and I have a fan going. There's actually two fans in our kitchen area going, pushing air out and we have two windows that are always open. You can bake these in your oven and I do recommend that for those who are like, I just wanna try this and see if I will like it. You know, if this is a type of art I would like to try to do, I do recommend not investing into a new wave on your first couple reborns and just buying the doll kits and using your personal oven to bake them in. Um, of course, you don't want to do this on a regular basis. You know, it's just not good to be cooking these finals with your food, I would think. But to do it for a couple times isn't going to hurt anybody. When we first started out in the doll world, we actually had to use the oven for a while. But we don't, we don't use the oven like that often. So I do recommend it though for those who are just wanting to dabble into the art to see if they like it before, you know, because you don't want to buy an oven that's over a hundred dollars investment and you just may not like it. Now, my best advice to you guys is, um, you know, I've been in this industry for 10 years now and you just want to practice, practice, practice. Each doll I paint is practicing for me. Uh, that's how I see it. I want it to look better than the last doll that I made. A lot of people ask for advice and the best advice I can give you is to treat each doll as a practice item and just think in your head, I want this to look better than my last doll. Like, I just want it to be amazing. Like, what can I do to change it? What can I do? And, and that's just what I do. It's always practice. I've painted, I know I've painted over a thousand dolls throughout my time my first doll looked just as hideous as many of your guys's first dolls if not worse okay it looked like a little sunburn victim it looked like I took a sharpie marker to its head and then I just put my first work on eBay and I would just let them bid put them at zero start <coughs> let them bid to try to establish like how much I can charge you know for my work that's something I get asked all the time, like, how can I price my work? Well, if you're just jumping into the industry with no experience at all, you're just going to have to just put it out there and go for it. Your best base, you know, if you don't want to put it out there with zero dollars and you want to make sure you get your materials back, we'll start your auction with, at your material cost um, is a really good thing. And then eventually... As you sell more dolls, your prices will go up because each doll you're working on, you're treating it as your practice. You know, you're practicing, I'm practicing, I'm going to get better. That's just honestly how my mind works every time I make a doll. 
And um, before you know it, you're going to, that your price is gonna go up. You're gonna find a comfortable price that you feel is fit for your, like your first year of making dolls or whatever. And then you just gradually increase it. You know, uh, many, many years, my price didn't increase. It's just recently increased. And there's nothing wrong in that. Um, I'm a very fair artist. I like to keep my, pri my work reasonably priced because I want everybody to be able to own my work. I don't want to be the only person that owns my work, you know what I'm saying? So I know I could charge a lot more. And I'm not just saying that because, oh, it's my work. I'm saying that because... I've been in the industry long enough. I've seen the work and everybody tells me that that buys my work. Um, means It means a lot when my own customers are like, you really should be charging more for your work. I'm like, whoa, okay, well, I can get more from you. You know, but yeah, I just try to keep things reasonable. And then when I raise prices, I keep it reasonable because I want people to still be able to afford my work. Just honestly, in the doll world, you have to do what works for you. Um... I do what I like. I weight the dolls how I like them. Everything is about me and what I like. And that, when you are doing what you like, the success will come to you, right? Because if you're doing something that you don't like and it's forced and uh, you're just having to fake your way through it, you'll be successful up front. But eventually, everybody's going to catch on that it's forced and that you were just fake and that you were just doing this for all the money, you know? I do this because I truly love the people behind it. I love making the dolls, even though they fucking bring, excuse me, they bring a lot of chaos to my life because I'm a truth teller. And when you tell the truth, it, you're basically just like a freaking criminal. It's how you're treated. So, you know, I share a lot of that on my community wall post. You guys make sure to follow my community wall. Also, if you like this painting, I do go live on TikTok and paint um, there because, well, we can play any kind of music. Elsewise, we're live and you hear the music going like that's what we get to listen to. And it's not super fun to vibe to. Like, I really have to push myself to vibe into this music. So it's really hard to paint. Like, I was going to go live and do this with you guys. And I was like. The music is completely lame. You know, it's just totally lame. Some people have holdups with TikTok. Let me tell you what. All of these companies, these mainstream, these sites like this, they're all in the same bucket, you know. Um, so the fear that you have with TikTok is really, it's the fear you should have with all of them. And more so, even majorly, more fear you should have is with Facebook and Instagram. No, that, those are very, very, very uh, unsafe sites. So, you know, it, you guys, TikTok is not as bad as what you think it is. Um, I think the mainstream media put a little bit of fear in there for a reason because on TikTok, you can find a lot of the truth. However, they are good at censoring us there, but they're not as... Uh, they don't censor you as much as they do over here on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. But yeah, the mainstream media has made you fear that app more than you should. I'm just telling you, just get the app just to hang out with me. If I have the app on my phone and I run all my business from my phone and all that stuff, you don't have anything to worry about. Like I said, in the end, all these mainstream media... Uh, websites and such they're running with the same crew so they're all equally just as bad but yeah one day we're gonna have safe apps one day we are and it's all coming very very soon it's very soon if you guys are following the military intel and the stuff that's taking place behind the scene that um we are not freely allowed to talk about on social media and we have to really get to you guys between the lines because they're censoring us um but yeah that, that's why they painted tiktok so badly is because they can't control it as much um the elites so go over there we're live having fun don't be so scary a lot more scary things taking place that you're not aware of that i'm aware of and i would love to share with you guys but I can't because I will be canceled so fast. Uh, 
mainstream media is all about counseling people who share the truth and I don't want to leave you guys hanging because I shared some stuff that you could have found on your own easily if you'd have just like looked for it or question like question what's going on in society so all you got to do start questioning if you're questioning stuff use yandex.com it will really help you uh, also email me I can send you some um documentaries to kind of get you on track fast and that will help you jump down the rabbit hole where you can research your knowledge better know how to look for it know how to find the court cases know how to find everything all the hidden stuff so yeah just email me those who are wanting to wake up because you're like this stuff going on in society is way chaotic and there's got to be more to it there is a whole lot more to it Trust me, but it's all going to be amazing once it's all said and done. All right, well, we've done our varnish on our baby. OC is all varnished, so now I'm going to bake OC two times, 265 degrees, for six minutes. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. It's been so much fun. It's always a pleasure. When you can't find me here, you can find me on Instagram. You can find me on TikTok. And... Um, but yeah, feel free to email me if you ever need someone to chat to. I do try to reply. Don't be a stranger. Stay safe, guys. Bye.